This should be a fairly short uh, introduction to the idea of uh, resistivity, but um, if you follow in your book, it's page 597 to 599, and most of that's an example problem. But I want to look at what exactly is resistance. And so to do that, we need to look at the properties of different materials. And the property that gives rise to resistance is called resistivity, how resistive a, a certain material is. So basically, the symbol for that is the Greek letter rho, because it's the, actually the Greek letter R, even though it looks like a P. The units of that are ohms times meters. And the way we calculate that is imagine you have a wire that has a length L and an area A. The resistance of that piece of material is the resistivity times the length of it divided by the area for um, a certain class of materials. Um, there's, these are, it's actually not on page 577 now, I can't remember exactly which page it's on, it's probably page 597, 598, somewhere in there. Uh, but these are some common values of materials. So silver has a very re relatively low resistivity all the way up through lead, which has a fairly high resistivity for a metal. It usually don't make uh, wires out of lead. But these are some values you may need for the homework or assignments in class, so make sure you copy these down. So I'll leave this. You can pause this for a second here if you need to write them down. So the units of that are ohm meters once again. Then, as things go, these are what you can change about an object to change its resistance. All right, if you make it longer, you get more resistance. If you make the cross-sectional area wider, you get less resistance. Uh, for most materials, as you raise the temperature, the resistance increases, and then certain materials give you an increased resistance, you know, silver up through platinum and lead. And that'll be uh, it for this first lecture, or the second lecture here.